My lady, the sun is out. It's giving us an opportunity to be out with the children. I mean, definitely. <laughs> you know what? This is a once in what a month for us to go out. Yeah. We don't go out regularly. So I know. It's I know. beautiful day. I know, but I need to touch on something that's very important. Mm. You're a chef. Yes. Of all the things that you could have become, you could have become a model. Mm -hmm. You could have become the president. <laughs> <laughs> and you chose to become a chef. Why is yes. that? Um, look, I've always loved cooking. I grew up in a family of cooks. Um, so that obviously played a role but I think also just my children um, inspired me to do more especially specialized with kiddies cooking and just to make them independent that's that's a really amazing thing and I think touching on what you said that you're a chef for children I mean with all the COVID restrictions how are you managing that how are you still maintaining the cooking classes for the kids yeah um I've actually slightly pivoted during this COVID time. So I've taken them online um, where we have group classes, but online. So obviously then the parents also have to be present mm -hmm. for adult supervision. So it's, it's quite fun because then as a parent, you also get time to spend with your child in the kitchen. So that's the fun part about it. And the funny part is a lot of the times it's actually the parents that need the cooking lessons. Yep. For the little ones. <laughs> that's very true. But anyway, I'm loving the fact that they're enjoying themselves right now because they being are. cooked up in the home has been such a mind-boggling thing, such no, a shift. It, being out here is great. Even though it works for us, I mean, as parents, we love spending time with our children. Mm. Uh, but at some point, you get to a point where you're like, I love you. Hey, but, um, <laughs> but can you please? <laughs> Okay, but I think let's go. Let's go. Let's join them. Let's join them. <laughs> And yes, you are still cooking along with us. We made a first dish for the babies, right? Because it's a kiddies cook along today. We made the fish cakes, they've gone off to indulge. We're now in the second part of our kiddies cook along, but it's feeling quiet over here. Mom! Mom! Hey, you! Hi, Mommy. Hi, girl. Mom, the little kids made some fish cakes. How about us? Don't worry, I've got something up my sleeves for you guys. Okay. Do we? Yep. Let me introduce you to my little one. Please do. <laughs> we've got Arnaya here. Okay. But we call her Yaya. Yeah, and we've yeah. got Yatla right here. So these are the little ones that are always in my kitchen and cooking up a storm in our kitchen. Um, they're the ones who are always doing the lunch boxes and whatever you see on my social media pages that has to do with kids. Okay. So look at the faces. <laughs> okay, South Africa. <laughs> these are the stars of the show today. So guys, what are we making today? Today we're going to be making some butternut fritters. Okay. Take us through it then. So, so the ingredients we have is one egg, cinnamon, baking powder, flour, coconut milk, some oil, and some chopped butternut. So right now we're gonna put the chopped butternut into a pot. So Yatla, do you want to put the chopped butternut for me? I'm honored to. Okay. <laughs> the one thing I'm seeing that's different about this cook along is that the first part, we were busy with the little ones and there was a lot more of us involved here. So these ones are basically doing their own thing. Always. Do always. we even need to be in the kitchen? <laughs> Some coconut cream. So is this your favorite or is there another kind of different uh, dish that you like? Um, so normally, yes, we do like butternut fritters, but I'm born into baking. Okay. So um, probably my favorite one would be cinnamon swirls. Cinnamon swirls. Or okay. anything got to do with chocolate. <laughs> Interesting. <laughs> and for you, Yatha, tell them what you love. I love Swiss rolls. Swiss rolls. Oh, they've got quite a sweet tooth this one. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Chef, so take us through it, right? We've got the butternut in there and we've got the coconut milk. What happens next? Okay, we've got our butternut in there with our coconut milk um, cooking. However, we've pre-prepped as well. So we've got um, our cooked one okay. in there. And basically, they're going to be mashing it before they add in the other ingredients. Okay, and ideally, how long would that take for it to cook? About 15 minutes, try to keep it on low heat so that the coconut milk really infuses into the butternut. Okay guys, have fun mashing these butternut because it's already been cooked all the way. All you need to now do now is just mash it up to what consistency, Chef? How thick do you want it or runny? It can still be chunky. I really like chunky um, vegetables instead of the mushy, mushy ones. Yes. As if, look, the mushy ones are for those who are still very mm. young, like our babies when we introduce them to solids. Yeah. So these ones are very nice and chunky. 
Here's a spoon for you to take also from the sides. Okay. I shouldn't sure. even be helping you here. And is this what mm -hmm. makes you, what, what basically, what you enjoy about cooking with your mom, getting your hands dirty and enjoying all of this cooking? Or have you always had, do you also have a passion for cooking? Um, I have a little bit of a passion for cooking. Um, I'm a bit like the opposite of my mom. Um, I do love cooking, but I love baking the most, and my mother doesn't like baking at all. <laughs> That's quite true. I, I don't like baking. So I'm just going to add in half of the flour into his, and then the other half into Arnaya's. Okay, and Yatla, I mean, you guys are here together, cooking together. I'm sure you've been cooking with your mom as well. Is there one dish that you enjoy preparing with her? Mm, yes. Which one? Pizza. Okay, and you've, got, you've made your own pizza from scratch? Okay, then maybe next time we come here, you guys are going to show us exactly how to make the pizza from scratch and basically all the toppings and everything like that, right? Yep. What's your favorite pizza topping? Pepperoni. Okay. <laughs> he loves, loves that one. Dumi, can you please assist with um, those ones, the rest of the ingredients? Um, so we're I'd say my favorite is just anything with meat. <laughs> anything with meat. So any pizza that's got meat in it is your favorite? Yeah. Okay, perfect. Do I put it in the baking powder and the cinnamon? We can put them in all, all together. together. Here okay. we go. Then we can just beat the egg. Let me do that on the side and then I'll just right. add it into... Yatla, you can continue with your mixing here, Nana. Okay. okay. So I'm can also you just... Can smell that? I can actually. I can smell the cinnamon all the way from here. Uh, so basically, like you said, we still want them to hold their shape and be nice and firm, yes. right? Do you want to pour that in there for him? See. And I go. thought that the silence would only ap apply to the little ones, but it looks like even the big ones, <laughs> <laughs> once they start getting busy, actually just put all their focus on this. On the cooking. No, that's very, very true. But as you can see, she's the more talkative one. <laughs> um, honestly, Yatla's not big in the kitchen. He, he enjoys gardening more. So okay. we've got a little veggie patch where he takes care of all the gardening, um, the watering and everything. So it's well balanced, teamwork. I see, I see. <laughs> but then Chef, I also have to ask this, which I'm sure a lot of parents are curious about. When cooking with children in the kitchen, there have to be some precautions that we take to make sure that we keep them safe because you don't want them cutting themselves, burning themselves. What are the top tricks or top tips to, to give to parents when cooking with the children? Or maybe you look like you want to answer these. Um, so no Normally at our ki um, kiddies cook along, um, we have very strict rules okay. when cooking with children to make sure they are well protected and safe. Okay. So first of all, um, we assist young children with dangerous objects like knives, for example, or we chop it for them. And when it comes to the oven, my mom is usually the one putting things in the oven, so you know, they don't, but we don't burn ourselves. Mm -hmm. And yes, to, to also be safe during this corona, we always wash our hands before we start eating. And then you were saying as well, Chef, that before you actually start the cooking, uh, cooking uh, lessons with the kids, you like to basically lay out all the ingredients for them, which in essence is part of cooking school where we're taught of mise en place. place. Yes. 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 And uh, you're taught to lay out the ingredients yeah. ahead of time. That's very, very true. Um, she also knows I always shout at her if I find that she started cooking, but all the, her ingredients are not on the countertop. So I usually prepare the ingredients for them, but first and foremost, before anything, we have what we call our theory, where we just go through kitchen rules. So I'd say, what are your kitchen rules? What are the kitchen rules? Um, and what are you not supposed to do in the kitchen? Like run around, um, play with sharp objects, do not touch the stove without an adult, do not use the oven without an adult. So those kind of things. And we also teach them about the five senses and how they use their five senses in, in the kitchen. So it's quite important for you to also be, you know, educate them while they're having fun. So it's educational fun. Perfect, that sounds absolutely amazing. I think now maybe might be the perfect time for us to start frying up our, our fritters. fritters. Okay, right. so do you want to deep fry them or do you shallow fry them? I shallow fry them. Okay, yes. perfect. Okay, and you guys have been doing a lot of cooking with your mom and I think we focused on Yaya and the fact that you love being in the kitchen, but your mom mentioned a lot about you being in the garden. What exactly, why, why the garden? What do you love about it? I like watering and getting my hands dirty. 
All right, Chef, so they've mixed everything up now. Is this the consistency we're going for? Perfect consistency. Okay. So what I've done now, I've just poured a bit of oil okay. um, just to cover the base um, of, the, of the pan. We're going to shallow fry it instead of deep fry. Okay. Yeah. And then, Chef, today we're using butternut to make butternut fritters. What other veggies could we replace that with? Um, but I think we could also add stuff. Um, you can definitely add some stuff. Look, I prefer using coconut milk just for the flavor. But if you don't want coconut milk, you can always use water to cook that, um, the, the, the thing. Butternut. The, the butternut. Okay. Yeah. But you can always add other veggies. Um, like your baby marrows, you can add them, your carrots as well, you can add them, your potatoes to make potato fritters. Co sweet corn, which is yes. one of our personal favorites as well. So we add sweet corn um, to it. And I mean, you did mention that you could add any other veggie into it. Could you also add meat into it? Yes, shredded chicken um, filet you can add into it. Mince you can add into it <laughs> too. <laughs> so it's also very important that the adults are here to assist with oil because you don't want your kids being burnt by hot oil. <laughs> Very important point. Yeah, I think you were gonna actually touch on that because you were busy, like, busy poking me to be like, hey, <laughs> what did you want to say about that? Um, kids mustn't be near oil, and it is highly advisable to have adult supervision required when kids are near or using any oil. Is there one particular dish that parents always uh, go back to? Are there any specific questions that always come up whenever you have cook-alongs with children? Um, I think the biggest or the most common question that I get, how do I make my children eat vegetables? <laughs> <laughs> Because a lot of children really are picky eaters, and I totally understand that. Um, but I always say, teach them from a very young age. When you introduce them to solids, mm. that's when you introduce them to the different vegetables. And how you can hide them? Many ways to hide. <laughs> <laughs> many ways to hide your veggies. So, like I was saying, you can grate even in burgers. If you make burgers, grate your little um, baby marrows, carrots, whatever you have. If you can grate it into those um, the patties as well. Yeah. So that's how you, you get to hide them. And I'm actually liking this recipe very much because just looking at it, it's very simple. You could even make um, savory pancakes if you'd like to South Africa for the, for the little ones because yes, we're making a savory dish here. You could make savory pancakes. But another thing I've, made, I've noticed, you've not put any sweetening. Normally mm. when people make butternut, they'll add the sugar and the honey. Is there a reason for that? There's cinnamon. Ah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and if you don't know South Africa, the reason we're saying there's cinnamon is because there are certain spices that when you add to food, it actually enlightens the actual flavor, flavor. of the food. The natural the flavor of correct. the food. Yes, that's correct. Um, I think my kids will attest to it that how much I hate sugar. Um, <laughs> so we hardly have any sweetness or sugar in our recipes. If there is something, it has to be a tiny weeny weeny bit. So even when she bakes, um, I always say put half the amount required. Okay, that absolutely looks amazing, my lady. It, it smells amazing, South Africa. I can smell the cinnamon all the way from here. Um, but it looks like we're basically almost done with this dish, right? So we're just basically going to dish it out and then that's it. Okay, so guys, there's still more coming up, right? So uh, do you, what's the next dish that they're gonna be preparing with us? Um, we've got baked chicken goujons coming along just now. All right, South Africa, join us again. We've got baked chicken goujons coming up. Hey, babies. Have some fun. <laughs> <laughs>